Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'll be sharing my fried ekosi soup recipe with you. There are many methods of cooking ekosi soup. But today I'll be making the fried one. And then the three vegetables I use adds a lot of magic to the soup. Watch to the end to know how I make it. For this egusi soup, I will be using egusi. I already blended that. Then I have smoked fish, stock fish, and then beef. Then for my peppers, I usually use peppers and tomatoes sometimes. But today I'll just be using shumbo and scotch bonnet. Sometimes I use takashi as well. Then I have my onions. I have my crayfish and prawns, and then seasoning cubes with my iru. Then I have some salt and also some palm oil. Then here are my vegetables that does the magic. I will be using ugo leaves, scent leaves and uziza leaves. Scent leaves and uziza add a lot of flavor to the soup, like this distinct sweet flavor. So I will go ahead and add my stock fish that I have already washed with my beef to a pot. Then I will season it with some seasoning cubes, some salt and then onions and pepper. I will just cover that and allow it to cook on low heat. Till it starts producing its own water, then I'll add some more water to the pot. And once the beef has cooked well, I'll go ahead and add my deboned mackerel. And then I'll cover the pot and allow it to cook. So once that is done, I'll heat up some palm oil in the pot and then add my iru to the pot and then stir fry it a bit to release a lot of flavor for the soup. Then I'll go ahead and add my onions and I'll also stir fry that a little bit. So once it's a bit fragrant, I'll go ahead now and add my peppers. That's the shombo and the scotch bonnet. So I'll stir that in and allow it to fry. So once that is frying, I'll go ahead and add some of my hot meat stock to the blended igusi in a bowl. Then we'll be mashing this up to form a thick paste. You should, you can add the water at interval, or that's the stock water. But I think this one I added is enough to give me the consistency I want. So this is exactly what you are looking for, like a thick consistency that is not too watery, just something thick to form a very thick paste. So once I'm done mixing this thoroughly, I will now go ahead to go back to our pepper that has been frying and it is well fried now. So I will go ahead now to add the egusi in small small lumps, the egusi will be formed into a paste, I will be scooping it into the pots of frying peppers and I'll also be allowing my spoon to touch some oil while at that so that the egusi will not be sticking to the spoon and be difficult to come off. So a very important tip for a well fried egusi, make sure you have enough oil in your pot. So from the beginning of your cooking, add enough oil to your pot, just enough to fry this egusi. So once I'm exhaust I've exhausted my egusi paste, I'll go ahead to stir it gently, then allow it to fry. I will stand by you so it does not burn. So just a few more minutes, I'll check back and stir it in properly again, and then continuously keep stirring it so it does not burn. So we'll keep frying this till the, because the oil has dried up and disappeared and integrated well into the ecosy. So this is how our well fried ikusi looks like. I'll go ahead now to add some meat stock and also some water. Stay it in and then cover the pot and allow it to cook till it starts to cuddle and thicken up. So this is what exactly what we are looking for. I'll cover it and allow it to cook some more so the water dries up a bit more. Then this is our ikusi. I'll be going in with my fish and meat and then some seasoning cubes with some salt and also I will stir that in thoroughly and then add my crayfish and prawns I've blended that already so I'll add that and stir it in now till everything is properly combined then I'll cover it and allow it to integrate well like all the ingredients I added now to cook in properly with the egusi so this is it now. 
you can see it's well cooked and done I'll go ahead now to add my veggies we are done with this soup already so I'll go in with the juices that first and then the scent leaves I'll stir this in just for a minute I don't want to cook it too much but I want the flavor of these two vegetables to incorporate into the soup properly so once I'm done stirring it in I'll go ahead now and add my ugu leaves that is just this. So once I add the uku leaves, I'll stir it in and then turn off the heat. And now you can see soup is ready. This is just it. Simple, easy and delicious. So this soup will be going down with a bar. Very, very delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video and you go ahead to give it a try and share this recipe with your friends and loved ones that want to know how to make fried egg. See you in my next video. Bye.